Hi, I'm Joycelyn Wells of Love, Passion, and Happiness. And today I'll talk about self-love. What does that mean, right? So to me, self-love is my physical self. Everything that I do to my physical self makes my mind realize how much I'm in love with me. Not my external relationships, but my relationship with myself and my relationship with my mind. So in self-love, I think for me, it's important for me to touch myself. And I'm not talking about something as basic or not that I'm minimizing it as masturbation. I'm talking about everything, my fingers, my toes, my ears, my nose, everything, because I need to make a connection from what I feel and the different parts of me to my mind to show appreciation of my sheer existence. So self-love is taking care of everything. So you touch yourself and you put on your lotion or you massage your fingers or you massage your feet or your calf or you exercise. Those things that aid to your intrinsic self, not your extrinsic self. So I'm not talking about buying a new purse or buying new shoes. And I do love shoes. We'll put that out there. I'm not talking about those things. I'm talking about the things that are of you making yourself better right so self-love and we can focus on the body but we have to make sure we also include the brain we have to constantly learn we have to be exposed to new information whether it's reading a book or trying something new a new dish or traveling somewhere outside of where we live all of those things make the brain expand and work a little bit more. But it's also showing an appreciation to your body, your vessel, that you are aware that you were chosen to be here and that you're of purpose, right? So your whole physical self, it's loving your whole physical self. It's also being aware of the toxic thoughts you're putting into your mind. If you're dealing in situations that leave you feeling poorly, that's not a good situation to be in. And because we're so programmed to go with it, you end up staying in it and then you suffer more because of it. This is a true story. I was with some friends and we were all out at this house party, which was a great, it was supposed to be a great house party. It was a lot of people there. They had food, they had drinks, they had music, all of my favorite things. And I'm in this party and all of a sudden, the energy in the whole party changed. I don't know why, guess what? I didn't ask why. What I did say to my friend that I was with is like, hey, are you thinking about leaving anytime soon? And they said, no, I'm having a great time, you know, whatever, whatever. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. So I'll talk to you tomorrow. I'm gonna get an Uber. I'm gonna leave. And they're like, you're gonna leave? And I'm like, yeah. And they're like, well, don't you think it's gonna be rude and you leave like this? And I was like, because I'm taking care of myself, because I feel like this isn't a place that's good for me, that's rude. No, I said, I don't feel rude. I feel like this isn't a good place for me, so I'm gonna leave. And I left, but that took a lot. And a lot of people can't walk away from situations like that. You end up staying in it and then something happens and then you're processing it for 20 years, right? If you all look back on situations, you can always go back to one thinking, I should have left when I felt like this. I should have left when this happened. I should have, right? Instead of going with the I should have, it's taking it upon yourself to be in a moment of self-preservation and get the hell out of there, right? It's like, I don't wanna be here. So self-love is all of that. And once you get to a place of understanding yourself and loving yourself and you start trusting more your intuition, you start knowing that this is a place that I don't feel good. I don't feel good in here and I leave. Instead of second guessing it and thinking, oh, it's gonna get better. We have to deal with that all the time in relationships and situations and the relationships is a whole nother day a whole nother topic but as far as this goes self-love it's everything rub yourself rub your arms rub your legs make your fingertips the feel of you in your brain know that I am appreciating the way that I feel no one can tell you something about your body that you don't know no one, right? You should already know that. You should know if you're soft. You should know how your skin feels. You should know your cheeks. You should know your eyes and your teeth, right? You should know how your hair feels. These are all things 
of you. These are all the things that you will use for the rest of your life. And if you don't spend time loving on you, no one else will love you as well as you can love yourself. Nobody. I don't care who it is. Your mama, your daddy, your kids, your boyfriend, your girlfriend. No one will invest the time and energy it takes to love you as you can love yourself. That is the key. You've got to take care of you. I hope this is a message that you all receive. We'll talk more soon. See you next time. Love, passion, happiness.